Have you ever wondered what you would choose if you could pick your last meal? Well, Edward R. Murrow, award winner, creator, podcaster, Rachel Bell joins us now to fill us in on her popular podcast, Your Last mm. Meal. Hey, Rachel, thanks for joining us. Hello, good morning. Yes. So for folks who haven't tuned in, haven't listened, just fill us in briefly. Yeah. What is your podcast about? Yeah, so it's kind of all in the title. I'm asking people about their last meal, but more specifically, I talk to celebrities about their last meal. So uh, we talk about their lives, their careers. We talk about food in general. And then the big question is, what would you choose for your last meal? It is not intended to be morbid. It is actually a very fun show. Uh, and it's a way to get to know people through something as intimate as food. Uh, and then we kind of go down a rabbit hole and go into the science or the culture or the history of that food. Uh, for example, when I had Betsy Johnson, the, the uh, fashion designer on, we were thinking, you know, where do food and fashion intersect? And we ended up booking the designer who created Lady Gaga's infamous meat dress. Uh, so that's kind of how we string things together. And fun fact about that, uh, he actually consulted his butcher, his family's butcher in Argentina. And that meat dress was ironically made from skirt steak. Oh, uh, yeah. of course. Interesting. Of course. <laughs> okay. Of course it was. Rachel, yeah. what do you think it is about food that brings communities together? Well, the thing that I have found to be so interesting about doing the show is looking into the history of food because people like to use the word authentic a lot. You know, this is authentic. This is not authentic, uh, especially about foods like Chinese food, Mexican food. And when you start to look into the history there is no such thing as authentic, like Al Pastor, which is something that people think of for Mexican food. That came from immigrants from the Mediterranean. You know, it started out as beef because they were Muslim. It turned into pork. It started from pita. It turned into tortillas. So I think the thing, you know, beyond the fact that food tastes good and it's really fun to gather around a table and eat, it really does tell a lot about history. You know, a lot of stories are rooted in war, they're rooted in immigration, and you can learn a lot about people and cultures by talking about food. Like my latest episode that just came out a couple of days ago with legendary comedian Margaret Cho, uh, her last meal is Spam Musubi. So we get into the history of Spam, which, you know, Spam to some people, like in Hawaii, it is a delicacy. And, you know, on the mainland, some people are judgy about it. They uh, think that it's, you know, kind of gross or a food for the poor, but that is a food that came out of wartime. You know, it was a ration for American soldiers uh, that spread when they were in all kinds of countries around the world. And um, yeah, I mean, I just think that food tells really interesting stories. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely. Rachel, are there some foods that people seem to always pick for their last meals? Yes, there are. I, I'm always surprised by it because I would think a lot of people would pick mac and cheese because it's such a comfort food and it seems like people tend to pick comfort foods. You know, I'm talking to celebrities. They have access to anything that they want and it's very rare that somebody picks something fancy. But the most popular last meals have been a steakhouse dinner because I think for a lot of people when they were growing up that was just the epitome of what was fancy you know to go out and have a steak dinner and then equally as popular is ice cream oh yeah of course it makes a lot of sense yeah, yeah. yes and speaking of ice cream I've had Ben and Jerry on and this <laughs> is so fascinating so I believe it's Jerry they probably get mixed up all the time uh, he is anosmic which means he doesn't have a sense of smell and when you can't smell you don't taste very well either so that's the secret to why Ben and Jerry's mm. ice cream is so chunky <laughs> and has so many pieces in it because that man can't taste anything and he needs to rely on texture and that's how they you know came up with their signature ice creams yeah, that's fascinating. You gotta rely on texture, all that chunkiness. That's yeah. right, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Rachel, before we let you go, fill us in on how we can tune into your podcast. Where can people listen? Yeah, you can listen to your last meal literally anywhere you get podcasts. Uh, so just go to Apple or go to Spotify, and you can follow me on Instagram at Hello Rachel Bell. All right. Well, all right. we're sad to say goodbye to Rachel Bell right now, but thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank your you. time. Absolutely. I didn't even get to hear your last meals. We'll have to do that next time. Oh, next time we'll have to have you back on. We could talk about that. Oh, Thanks, yeah, Rachel. For sure, right. for sure. Yes. Man, she's got me thinking. What would you pick? I don't know. I don't know. The wheels are turning. <laughs> wheels are turning.